Hey folks, welcome to another video in Hematology Oncology. In this section of the hematology, we'll discuss about the various bleeding disorders. Thrombotic microangiopathies, the non-immunogenic thrombocytopenias. Thrombotic microangiopathies is a spectrum of clinical syndromes characterized by microvascular thrombosis causing microangiopathic hemolytic anemias, thrombocytopenia, and renal failure in few cases. Primary thrombotic microangiopathies include thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, hemolytic uremic syndrome, or Shiga toxin-mediated hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is the most typical version of it, atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. PTP is diagnosed with a pentad of fever, thrombocytopenia, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, transient neurologic deficits, and renal failure. HUS can be diagnosed when patients present with thrombocytopenia, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, no neurologic symptoms, dominance of acute renal failure, and HUS occurs most commonly in children. The term hemolytic uremic syndrome is now replaced by IgA vasculitis as the predominant insult in the causation of this syndrome is noted to be IgA-mediated vasculitis syndrome. Atypical HUS is recognized from a pentad similar to TTP, wherein patients present with fever, thrombocytopenia, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, transient neurologic deficits, and acute renal failure. Etiologic classification of the major forms of primary thrombotic microangiopathy. Shiga toxin mediated HUS is an acquired form of primary thrombotic microangiopathy, which is caused by Shiga toxin producing E. coli, Shigella dysentery serotype 1. Atypical HUS is complement mediated primary thrombotic microangiopathy, which can be inherited or acquired. Complement dysregulation due to genetic abnormalities can cause inherited version of the atypical HUS, while acquired complement dysregulation due to autoantibodies can cause atypical HUS. TTP can be inherited or acquired. Deficiency of the genetic ADAMTS13 can result in TTP. ADAMTS13 deficiency can also occur due to autoantibodies and cause acquired type of TTP. Secondary causes of thrombotic microangiopathy includes malignant hypertension and scleroderma-associated thrombotic microangiopathy. Morphologic lesions are very similar in all forms of thrombotic microangiopathy regardless of the etiology. Definition of thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Thrombotic microangiopathy involving terminal arterioles and capillaries with widespread thrombosis in microcirculation can cause thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. It is most common in women in the fourth decade of life. About 10 to 40 percent of the cases have a previous viral respiratory infection about two weeks before the onset of TTP. Etiology. It can be inherited or acquired due to deficiency of the ADAMTS13 gene. Pathogenesis. Normal mechanism of thrombosis by von Willebrand factor. Synthesis of von Willebrand factor. Endothelial cells near the site of damage respond by synthesizing von Willebrand factor, which is secreted in the form of a large multimeric chain. Proteolytic cleavage of von Willebrand factor. The ADAMTS13 is a proteolytic enzyme present in the plasma that is responsible for cleaving the multimeric chains of von Willebrand factor into smaller fragments. Addition of von Willebrand factor. Von Willebrand factor binds to the subendothelial collagen fibrils that become exposed at the site of endothelial damage. Aggregation of platelets. Platelets are recruited to sites of endothelial damage by detection of von Willebrand factor bound to the exposed subendothelial collagen using the cell surface glycoprotein 1B receptors. Acquired or genetic deficiency in the von Willebrand factor results in a deficiency of a cleaving metalloprotease called the ADAMTS13 in the endothelial cells. Absence of this enzyme causes increase in the circulating multimers of the von Willebrand factor that promotes platelet activation and aggregation 
an endothelial injury at the arteriolar capillary junctions, the platelet microthrombi in various organs are formed, thus platelets are consumed. Note, Upshaw-Schulman syndrome is inherited deficiency of the Adam TS13 gene. Morphology, thrombi in the glomerular capillaries are seen. The arterioles and sometimes the larger arteries also contain thrombi in more severe cases. Other glomerular changes are seen due to endothelial injury causing widening of the subendothelial space, duplication or splitting of the glomerular basement membranes, and lysis of the mesangial cells. Cortical necrosis is seen in severe cases. There is scarring of the glomeruli if thrombotic microangiopathy persists. Immunofluorescence studies are typically negative, except for varying amounts of fibrinogen in the glomeruli and arterioles. Clinical features. The onset is typically sudden with a dominant involvement of the central nervous system. The kidneys are less commonly involved than in Shiga toxin and atypical HUS. The clinical pentad of fever, thrombocytopenia due to consumption of platelets in the formation of microthrombi, renal failure due to microthrombi deposition in the vessels of the kidney, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia with schistocytes due to destruction of the RBC, by microthrombi, neurologic manifestations due to microthrombi in the cerebral vessels can be seen in about 40% of the cases. One or more of the findings in this pentad may be absent and there is intravascular hemolysis. Diagnosis. The peripheral smear shows fragmented RBCs or schistocytes, helmet cells, bur cells and target cells. The bleeding time is increased with a normal PT and APTT. Platelet-associated IgG and complement levels are usually normal, and the Coombs test is negative. Here's a peripheral smear from a patient with microangiopathic hemolytic anemia with marked red blood cell fragmentation. The smear shows multiple helmet cells and other fragmented red blood cells. Microspherocytes are also seen, and the platelet number is reduced. The large platelets in the center of this field suggest that the thrombocytopenia is due to enhanced destruction. Here's the high power view of a normal peripheral blood smear. Several platelets in a normal lymphocyte can also be seen. The red cells are of relatively uniform size and shape. The diameter of a normal red blood cell should approximate that of a nucleus of the small lymphocyte. Note the central pallor should be equal to one third of its diameter. Treatment is by glucocorticoids, rituximab, which is a CD20 monoclonal antibody, and plasma exchange therapy that replaces Adam TS13. Prognosis. Without therapy, the course is rapidly fatal with survival rates approximately 10%. In those patients who survive, residual renal abnormalities are rare and a recurrence rate as high as 20 to 40% is seen with a mortality rate of 10 to 20%.